FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is the Thursday edition. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. And uh, this is going to be a really important, the last day of the month of June. <laughs> and so far, we've just had intense selling, and the selling begat selling. That's just, uh, I mean, we'll treat it biblically. And uh, then there was a dissipation of that selling around about 10, 15, when I did the news at 10. I said, look at this next 15 minutes is going to be really important. Well, that last, that 15 minutes going to the 10, 15 time frame, did signal some kind of support level, and now we've had a pretty decent run. And now the Dow's down uh, 370 at uh, 30,652. It hit 30,431. It's over 230 points off the low. And what I had said was I thought that some selling, that intense selling could dissipate, market could move up, but it's really the last hour. Do new buyers come in or new sellers? I think most of the selling surely has been done. We'll see. The S&P right now, S&P is trading uh, down 50. It was down, down to the 37.38 level. It's now down at 37.66. Coming back, but it really needs to get to 38.18. If it's going to do any rally at all by Tuesday next week, it's got to be trading above 38.20. You're looking at the uh, QQQs. Here are the cases that it's had a nice long uh, legged up and down move, almost doji type thing. It's down five at 278. If it's able to start to rally 284, where it uh, all, all, almost touched today, it needs to be above that by Friday rather than below the low today. IWM struggling to come back, but it is coming back down 54 at 168. Gold, now let's see where gold is because gold was weak and then it's a rally, but now it's down nine at 1808. It's getting to, it's gone past the left side low. I did quite a bit of that. I'll be doing that more. I'm going to be sitting for Larry Pesavento's show. There's a lot that we need to discuss in the different currencies and the different commodities. So I'll be doing Larry's hour. And we're looking at uh, the TLT, a fabulous move up today. Uh, 1.58 at 115.47, finally it's making higher highs and higher lows. It's in leg C above the Chapman Wave falling exclamation. I'll talk about that when we get back. And we're looking at the crude oil. Crude oil is hmm, crude oil Crude oil is down sharply. Crude oil is down four at 105.63. And I was asked about the SCO. Yes, I think now the SCO is in play for the person who asked me about that. And if it's able at 22.95, this is the inverse of crude oil. If it's able to close above 23.91, the high of the 23rd of June, um, that will not only start leg C, that starts for the first time to improve the, um, the weekly chart. So this says crude oil is giving us a chance yet a little bit of a deflationary aspect. I'll be back to Larry Pesavento's show in a moment. I'll use our, that is. 